Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to generate your own password list. And it sounds like it may not be very important, but I was recently listening to A Darknet Diary by Jack Recyder, and the episode is titled The New Guy at the Office. And while I was listening to it, it said something that stuck out to me, and I thought I should make a video about that. And he talks about how important it is when you're at a specific company doing a penetration test to pull a random word list and then use that to generate possible passwords when you're trying to brute force with usernames and passwords for a specific company because people will often make their passwords to have something to do with the company that they work at. For example, if you work at Google, somebody might use the password, my Google password, exclamation point, and that is something that is really easy to crack. And if you create your own word list based on that website, then it will be a lot easier to brute force people's passwords. So with that, we're going to go ahead and jump into this video. All right, so here we are at our blank terminal and we're going to be scraping Tesla for our password list. So this is going to be pretty simple. We're going to use the tool called cool and we're going to run a dash H so I can explain what we're going to do here. We are going to run a dash D. So this is the depth to spider. So this is how many pages you want it to click on, how many different links to pull down words. And we're just going to run two because the default is fine. And then we're going to run a dash M and we're going to say we want a minimum of eight characters because passwords are typically at least eight characters. And actually in our case, we're going to run a dash six because I wrote a little script that's going to add in some numbers and also some of these characters like the period and the asterisk and the exclamation point. So we can run this with a with a dash M and a six. So that way we'll have at least eight eight characters for our password. And if you were doing like an actual pen test, you'd run a, you would want to put in like at least eight so that way you get a good password list right here for the depth to a spider. And then you can run a dash W to put this out to a out file. So we're gonna go ahead and run this and grab the password list. So we're gonna just run the cool dash D and this is the depth of two, which is the standard depth. But if you were doing this on an actual penetration test, you would run a lot bigger list. And so we'll also run a dash M and we want a minimum of six characters. And then we are going to put in our target here to scrape the words from. So we can run HTTPS slash slash www.tesla.com. And this should go out and grab our word list for us. I'm gonna let this run for about 10 seconds and we should have a nice sized word list. Okay, our word list is finished. So we're just gonna grab some of these. We don't really need the whole entire list and we're going to put these into a list so we can just de-edit and make a password list just like this, which I actually already have it full of Tesla words because this is my second time making this video. And we can paste in our new list and we can save this. So when we close out of that, now I want to show you if we actually go back and look at this list, there are no numbers and there are no special characters at the end, which are almost always required on any password. So I wrote a little script and we can cat this out. It is saved as pi.py. And so all this does is I saved a list of special characters right here and it is going to also grab a random number one through 99 because sometimes people use one number sometimes they use three and it is going to print for us a new word so this is pretty simple to run we just cat out our password file that we just scraped with our tool which was pass.txt and we're going to pipe that over to our script right here and it's going to spit out for us nicely a list of all of those words and i see that i'm accidentally chopping the front of these off so we can edit this and i think Think that should stop us from chopping the front off and that looks a lot better so we got beautiful bring transform and custom and then we have our numbers here we have our special character and you can edit this script however you would like and I'll have it linked down in the description so you can just copy it and paste it and if it won't let me put this inside of the script because it has special characters I'll go ahead and add it to github and then give you a github link where you can pull this script off so you can make your own password lists and you can use them to brute force inside of CTFs as well as certification boxes or any other ethical hacking situation you might find yourself in. 